do you love experiencing about robots? Well, for me, I'm a robot lover, and I just love finding out some new types of robots. As you know, there was this new type of robots, Spot Boston Dynamics. Do you know about dynamics? Here, I will show you. So first, Boston Dynamics is actually a company, and they have made lots and lots of robots from early age, from the 1990, and from now, 2022. So here are some robots that have been made by Boston Dynamics. It's basically a company which made lots of robots that can do lots of things, like dancing, or even sing better than us, or they can help us with our daily task, and it will make our daily task faster and more convenient. For example, you want a glass of water, and you're too lazy because you're watching a good movie. So you can ask your robot to grab a glass of water for you and they can bring it back to you. They will be a loyal friend. They're very loyal and they're very funny at the same time. So here, now I will show you the evolution of Boston Dynamics because Boston Dynamics start from 1992 and now it is 2022. So it's just a long, long year. Just remember, in the 1992, there's all these robots. Nowadays, worlds are super, super modern. But robots are not cheap. They're super expensive. And the newest type of robots now, 2022, cost nearly 2 billion thousand Vietnam dome. They're so expensive. And I think robots are just suitable for someone who, who are rich, who are very, very rich, and they have plenty of money. And robots can also help in a company, like in some doctor's office in the hospital. Nowadays, in some modern hospital, there's even robots. So now, let's look at the evolution of Boston Dynamics from the 1992 and from 2022. Let's get started. They're very good. That's why I make this video. Well, I don't know much about robots, but I just want to share. So this is from the 1992. So what robot is that? Is it modern or is it old? Actually, from 1992, they don't have much techniques. They are not too modern. So this is their first, first ever kind of robot called Big Dog. Why is it called Big Dog? It's because their two legs are just like a dog. They're walking. And here is some gear. So Big Dog's robot, here it is. Look, actually quite funny. Here's a Boston Dynamics from 1992. This robot is especially used to help soldiers when they are at war. Instead of horses, they can use this kind of it, but it's actually too old and not many people use it. They make too much noise, just zzz, like a bee. So that's why not many soldiers nowadays use it to bring their gears. Look at this. Yeah, there are many evolution, but this is the first ever Boston Dynamics and they can be over 340 pounds. But if it's over 340 pounds, they can collapse and they can destroy the whole robot. But I think that this one of 1992, and they think of this, it's actually pretty smart, you know? Pretty smart because in 1992, they're still very poor at that time, not many modern nowadays, and they make this big dog robot, which is pretty nice, but I don't think I like the posture of this, the figure. It's quite funny, just like two men drunk and carrying a sofa, just very drunk. So let's see some new, some more pictures of Big Dog. Yeah, they are testing. They are testing the Big Dog. See, they helped the soldier. And in 2010, which is the year that I'm born, 2010, they just upgrade the Big Dog a little bit. They upgrade it into adding more techniques, adding more smart, like smart things in it. So after years of researching, look, okay, here is actually a message from one of their fans of Boston Dynamics. They said, after years of research and millions of dollars, engineer were able to accurately reproduce the two drunken men carrying a sofa. Yeah, just like I'm saying, two drunken men carrying a sofa. It's definitely quite funny, but it's worth it because it helped a lot during the war past then. And so they need someone to bring their gears. 
That's why brick dogs are appear to help soldiers. And three, they upgrade it into this, which is nicer, right? It's much, it's nicer. And here they even have a horn, just like a buffalo. You know, techniques nowadays. And even there's a new trend, which instead of reindeer, Santa Claus use big dog. Oh, very funny. So here there are testing a big dog before they appeared outside, which is pretty funny. And in 2012, big dogs upgraded and they look bigger so that they can carry more and more things. Like, instead of just 340 pounds, they can bring more heavy things. And it looks just like a pig, if you ask me. Look just like a pig. Alright, so this is some robots. And after some research, like there is in 2015, soldiers don't need it anymore because it brings too much noise. As you all know, it just have a noise and it can attract their enemy and their and the enemy will come up and it's just too noisy. So they don't use it anymore, but instead they upgrade into this level, which is just their many noise. But there's a fun fact. Did you know that this big dog even have an arm and it can throw bricks at someone? It's a fun fact. And in 2009, there's this kind of robot, which is Pet Man. In 2009, they started to make robot more human-like. Make a robot more human-like like this. They have legs and they have arms. And they are testing it. So in 2009, they started to make robots more human-like, like this. But I still think it looks kind of funny, but it is actually just like a human, like this. And it can run actually pretty fast, look at this. They are testing the robots. But I don't know much about it, so there are, there are some words about the part of the robots as well. And in 2011, robots can do many things, like they can even do squat. You know squat? Or even they can do push-ups, just like human. So that's why they did pet men. And protection example test mannequin. There are so many others as well. And pet man can even help in some war, or they can help in the doctor's office, and they can even wear a suit just like human. Yeah, they're exercising just like human, but they are a robot. In fact, they are robots. So they're just walking like a robot. Here we have Sand Flea. Sand Flea is basically a robot, but it's just like a wheel, and it's actually pretty smart. It can jump very, very far, just like a rabbit. Even jump better than a rabbit, if you ask me, or even a kangaroo. Sadly, you can run even faster than a kangaroo. Let's look at some more robots. So there are Sandfly, and they can. their technique is to jump very fast. Move on to our next type, which is a cheetah. You see, it's just like a cheetah. They run just like a cheetah, their legs. Just like a cheetah. So let's see how the cheetahs run. Ooh, actually pretty fast. I think they run even faster than a cheetah. The scientists said that they want to make a robot just like a cheetah that can prevent people from danger. That is why they make this. It can run fast just like this. Even faster than a cheetah. And the normal cheetah would run kind of slower than that. So here's the number. Okay, wait for a little bit. So here's the number of the cheetah. And you see, they run even faster. And remember, those robots are made from Boston Dynamics. All of them are made from Boston Dynamics. That's why I made this video, the evolution of robots of Boston Dynamics. Ooh, very, very fast. Just like fast. Here's a fun fact about the cheetah robot. It can run faster than cheetah. Look at this number. And run even faster than this kind of man who won the Olympics and made the world record. This robot run even faster than him, even though he made the world record. I think the world record of his should replace this robot. All right, let's see another one. Oh, we have a wild cat. In 2011, we have a new type of robot called white cat. But I think a white cat, I'm not trying to be tackle here, but a white cat seems like a little pig to me, the nose, just like a little pig. But they call this white cat and it can turn, run very fast as well. Another type, which is pretty new, is Atlas. Atlas is often used in 
some kind of doctor. They think that they can even help in hospital. Bring some scissors and knife to the doctor and the surgeon. But here is Boston Dynamics. I just love Boston Dynamics robot. In love with it. So here is Atlas in 2013. And they are trying to they hit the ball. That's why they hit the ball. They're trying to really like test the robot. And there's many, many things as well. Let me show you some more. Robots can even do parkour. Let's see how robots do parkour. Do you know parkour? Parkour is an exercise that you jump, you like you jump and you walk multiple times. That's the parkour. So they even teach the robots to dance, do parkour, and lots of stuff. And they can even do a backflip, which is even better than human. They can do a very great backflip. So there are some robots. All right. Why do scientists like teach the robot to do parkour? They teach the parkour in order to exercise and they're just testing the robots. So look at this, pretty funny. They're doing parkour kind of exercise. And there's a fun fact from this robot. This is take place in the robot you often see in a cartoon. And here comes another kind in here, which is I think it looks like a white cat. A white cat that you've just seen and here is the newest, if you see the yellow thing. I will show you, yes, here it is. Oh, it falls, just for testing. So I will show you again. This is the newest, the mini spot Boston Dynamics. And why do I put a lot of banana peels over here? Just to test robots if they can stand up again. Here is the newest robot nowadays which is called Spot Boston Dynamic, and there's even a mini Spot Boston Dynamics. It looks just like a dog in the outside, and it's the newest, and you can see from the evolution, to the big dog, and now it's the Spot robot. For, from the big dog and the Spot, it's the same because they both have four legs, but that's the evolution, from old to new. So this is the Spot Boston Dynamics. All I want to show you, but the small Boston dynamics are used in a lot of things. They are even put in caves for like a mine for digging gold. Or they can even help in a surgeon as well. And they can even help a builder to build things. That's all it. And it surely costs too much. Oh, they, they can even dance very well, even better than human. So now I will show you a video of is doing a parkour. So this is the Atlas robot that I just showed you from the last video of the evolution from 2010. And this robot is doing a parkour. Mm, sounds nice. They can even do a parkour better than human. So basically they do it the parkour. And that's it. That's the evolution. So I just want to say it. Bye. See you. And see you in another video. Bye.